Hey, what's going on guys? Rage Train here and welcome back to another High Pixel Sky Block video. In today's episode, in just a little bit here, we are going to be um, giving you guys some tips on how to fight the dragon. And in order to show that, we're actually going to be selling our own dragon. But before I get into all of that, I just want to go ahead and hold down tab here really quickly. And you can uh, may notice my name is Red. If I type a little bit of a T or something in chat, you will now see I have been awarded the YouTube rank by Hypixel, which is very, very cool. Um, obviously, I'm very, very excited about this, but I just want to say thank you guys so much for um, all the support recently. We got to 30K way sooner than I expected to, and now we're almost at like 33K, which is really insane. So in order to do a little bit of a celebration for this, um, I'm going to be giving away a full Ender set, um, unreforged and unenchanted, unfortunately. I am sorry about that. But hey, then if you guys want to have a, your own little bit of customization with this thing, you can go ahead and do so. But yeah, it is still going to be a full Ender set. All four pieces will go to one winner. And I'm going to make the rules for this one really simple to enter. You don't have to subscribe. You don't have to like the video. All you got to do is comment your IGN on this video. And I will pick the winner for this. Um, in my next episode of High Pixel Skyblock, whenever that comes out, will be when I announce the winner. So yeah, make sure you stay tuned for that and enter into the giveaway if you're interested in winning an Ender set. But yeah, with that out of the way, um, we're gonna go ahead and get into the actual content for today's episode now. So boys, um, as you may have known, we have been grinding up these Ender sets in order to be able to grind the bottom of the end to get some summoning eyes with the ultimate goal of being able to summon some dragons, fight some dragons, and get all that crazy gear you can get from dragons, like any of the armor pieces, any of the fragments, or um, probably especially right now for both of us, the aspect of the dragon sword. So if I open up my ender chest right now, you will see I have been saving these up um, that I have been grinding during the live streams. We have eight summoning eyes um, that we are going to be placing all of these today in order to summon the dragon. Now, before we do this, I will take all these out of my ender chest right now, which looks really cool to have eight summoning eyes all in my one inventory. But I want to go over some tips um, for actually how you can maximize your damage on the dragon. Obviously, we have not fought as many dragons as some people may have on the server, um, but hopefully we'll be able to demonstrate to you today like that these tips actually work when we go ahead and fight a dragon for ourselves. So, the first tip that I want to go ahead and give out here that I don't think a lot of people are doing this at the moment, and I think this is really useful, is that I think the way a lot of people are doing this right now is they're only getting themselves one summoning eye, and then they're finding a party with like a bunch of other people who each have one summoning eye. So you have a party of eight people and everyone's placing one summoning eye, which might seem pretty good because you're only having to place one summoning eye to spawn the dragon, right? But the problem there is most of the good rewards from the dragon fights are gonna go to the people who place top three in damage. And the problem when you have eight people all have a summoning eye is all those people are probably pretty geared out and competing for that top three in damage. So inevitably you're gonna have at least five people who get left out of that top three in damage. So the way we're gonna be doing this today is since we have all eight summoning eyes, I'm gonna be placing half of them and Studio will be placing half of them. Which leads me into another point here, which is actually that the amount of eyes you place for the dragon will actually increase your odds of getting good loot. Now this one, I don't have any like solid proof for it, or I can't find anywhere where this is like confirmed, but basically when I was streaming earlier, like a bunch of people in my stream were telling me that this is the case. And what they said is that the more summoning as you place, the higher the chance you have of getting some really good loot. Um, but they did say that it's capped at four summoning eyes, which is why I'm not gonna be placing all eight summoning eyes myself. I'm gonna have Studio here place half of them. So I'm gonna go ahead and trade four of them to him right now. And hopefully he doesn't go throw them all off into the void or anything <laughs> before we fight this dragon here. Um, but yeah, that's the second tip there is that if you want to maximize your chances of getting good loot, um, placing four summoning eyes will help you out quite a bit there. Now, one last tip before we actually head over into the end to show you this other stuff here, is that um, you definitely, definitely, definitely want to get your hands on a Runin's bow. You want to get the rapid reforge on it because it will increase your crit damage by 50%, which is a ton. And you also want to get as many of these enchants that you can see on my bow right now as possible. So power five for one will help a ton increasing your bow damage by 40%, that is huge. Spike three is another huge one because since the dragon is flying so far above you, um, the distance that the arrow travels will end up helping it deal a lot more damage there. Aiming five is another big one 
that'll make it so that even though the dragon is flying like insanely fast above your head, your arrows will kind of home into the dragon as long as you're getting relatively close to it when you're shooting your shots. And then Infinite Quiver 5, another huge one, you're gonna be shooting a lot of arrows, so saving 50% of your arrows will be big time. I also have piercing one in this bow. It's not really necessary though because there's like not really any other targets that you're gonna be hitting when you're like shooting like directly up in the air at the dragon, right? Okay, so I guess actually one last other thing before we head to the end as well, guys, is potions. Now, this is definitely gonna be big. As a lot of you probably know now from my video covering how you can do like a lot of damage with any weapon um, by using like strength five and crit three pots. Obviously, those are also gonna be helpful for the dragon because it's just gonna increase the amount of damage you're doing to it. But um, a big one as well, and I'm not sure which brewing stand, oh, I got it right the first try, is gonna be archery three potions. Now, archery potions do go up to four, but it's gonna cost you an enchanted glowstone block to craft those, which is like almost 200 glowstone, I think. So a little bit unreasonable um, to brew like a lot. But these archery three potions are still gonna obviously help a ton. They increase your bow damage by 50%, which is increasing it even more than the power five is going to be. Now there are also a couple other potions that may be helpful. The problem is you can actually only have three active potion effects at once though. So these are probably gonna be the most useful ones compared to any of the other types of potions you could drink at the moment. So yeah, I think that covers everything we need to actually be at the island for. So we can now head to the end. Um, but this is kind of going to lead us into yet another tip here as well, though. And that is going to be that um, you're probably going to want to do your best to pick a lobby that doesn't have a lot of other people who are super, super geared out in it. Because basically, now that we're each going to be placing four summoning eyes, we don't want to go into a lobby where there's like somebody who has full dragon armor and like an insane bow and all this type of stuff competing um, for that top three damage. We want to try and find a lobby that has people who don't have very good armor, who aren't gonna be able to compete for that top damage. So we can even further guarantee our odds of getting like one of the best drops in the game. So um, I'm gonna go ahead, take a quick cut here while we try to find the perfect lobby for this. But once we do, um, we'll be back. All right, boys, we found a good lobby. None of these guys in here seem to be too overpowered. Hopefully they're not able to party anybody in really quickly, but I'm gonna go ahead and get my summoning guys out. Okay, I'm gonna make sure not to die here too. Oh, don't die to a zealot right now, Rage. Oh my gosh, okay. Parker, you ready to place your summoning eyes down? All right, you can take him out also, but I'm gonna drop all of mine in right now. You go for it as well. I'll kill him, get him in, just put him in. <laughs> okay, which this is gonna lead us to our next point here, which is that you want to try and get up to a bit of a high point here so that the mobs down there cannot hit you. Okay, well that knocked me off right away. Ooh, a wise dragon, dude, that's a good one. If we get a piece in this, that is actually good. Okay, I took a lot of fall damage there. Then you just want to get up on one of these pillars here and just start taking shots at it. I got to get my arrows out. I was not fully prepared for this. We just found a good lobby and I was wanting to do it right away. Okay. Whoops. Okay. I had not drink. Yeah, I shouldn't. I should have drank my pots and everything first. I was not ready for it. It's okay. They've barely done any damage to it. It's a good lobby to do it in. All my pots are good to go. Okay. I'm going for it. So yeah, that basically does it for the tips, guys. Now, hopefully we'll be able to prove ourselves right here by doing a ton of damage to the dragon. Otherwise, it's going to be a little bit embarrassing and I will, um... Maybe I don't want to upload this if we don't do a lot of damage to it, I don't know. But I think we'll be pretty good. Uh, as you can see, okay, well I already got knocked off to the bottom here by the watchers, I guess. Okay, I'm up I'm up top again. Hopefully now I can just focus on him, not worried about getting knocked off any of the other mobs. That's kind of the whole point here. He's still only down like a mil health, and I've already done 100k, so that's pretty good. We want to try and get to probably 1 mil damage is optimal. That's usually what most of the people who are doing a lot of damage are going to get to. So again, I have not fought too many dragons, so this is probably not as efficient as I could be with doing damage. So you guys are probably cringing a little bit if you fought a lot of dragons. But I think in terms of like beginners and people who have not fought a lot of dragons, these tips are actually pretty useful, right? If you've not fought a lot of dragons, you may not know all these things. I think in particular, the potion one is helping out a lot. I've noticed even when I used the Runin's Bow in the past, I did not have all these different types of potions on and the damage I was getting was a lot less. But I can see already the dragon's about halfway done and I'm already at like 400K damage. So hopefully I can get around 800, 900K damage from this one. Wow, this guy's actually sitting in me right now, so I do not get more damage. I'm not sure if he's doing that on purpose or what, but that's insane. Okay, well, I'm, I'm close to like half a mil right here. Not too bad. Hopefully this is in the top. If somebody has done a lot more damage than me, Parker, how much damage are you at? 323. Okay, that's not bad. Hopefully there's no one who's done way more than us, but I have a feeling we might be a little bit trouble. Oh, there is someone with dragon armor here. They must have TP'd somebody in. Okay, well, hopefully we get a decent amount of damage here. We placed all eight summoning guys, so... It could be a yikes if we get screwed over here. I'm doing okay though. He's down to 1.5 mil here. I'm at about 600k damage. Okay, this thing's about to die. I need to get some last final hits on it. Um, okay, I, I got third position. I got third position. Oh, I see. I see. Okay, I see something over there. I think I either. I think I got a piece. I think I got a piece. Oh, wise dragon leggings. What'd you get? What'd you get? What'd you think? Oh, Ash of the Dragons. Yes. Okay, boys, we did it. 
Okay, we got Wise Dragon Legs and Ash the Dragons. Wow, wait, what place did you get? All right, guys, so I actually am going to change up the <laughs> outro of this video a little bit. I had originally recorded it at the end of that dragon fight there, but I'm not sure if it was just the adrenaline from um, a studio pulling the aspect of the dragons or if I had just drinking too much G Fuel earlier today, but I was like spazzing out and I was like, the thoughts I was saying were completely incoherent, I'm not gonna lie. But basically the point I wanted to make is that what that fight right there from us showed is that the amount of summoning eyes that you place for the dragon summon looks to be probably the biggest factor in what um, your drop rates actually are gonna be. Because as you could see, um, the top guy did about 3 mil damage, the guy in second place did like 1.5 mil, I only did 800k, and I think Studio only got like 5 or 600k, but Studio was actually the one who got the best drop by far, getting the aspect of the dragons, which sells for like 6 mil, whereas any piece of a dragon armor only sells for like 1 to 2 mil, depending on how good it is. So he clearly got the best drop there, and he actually only came in 4th place with damage. So if that doesn't show that the summoning eyes place is the most important factor, I don't know what does. But yeah, one last thing I wanted to go ahead and show you guys here is obviously I got Studio to trade me the aspect of the dragons for the leaping sword that I was previously using. If you guys are like, wait, why do you get the aspect of the dragons if Studio was the one that pulled it? Well, basically, I was the one who grinded for all eight of those summoning eyes. I did like two or three, like two to three hour grinding sessions on stream of grinding summoning eyes. So that is why I'm the one who gets to keep the aspect of the dragons. But you guys can also see, I've already managed to get the spicy reforge on it. I got super lucky. It only took me 10 reforges to get spicy, which is insane. I'm very, very happy with that. And I've gone ahead and put some enchants on this already. Just the ones that I was able to easily craft with the materials we had on the island. But yeah, I wanted to mention, I've been streaming a lot more on YouTube. And so what my plan is going to be is tomorrow I want to do a stream of fully enchanting um, this sword and getting like literally every enchant that you want on a sword on this tomorrow So make sure you guys turn on notifications on my channel if you haven't already um, So you get to see that stream as soon as it goes up tomorrow. But yeah, I think that's all I have for you guys in this video um, Thank you very much for watching. Hopefully you did enjoy it If you didn't have not done so already make sure you drop a like on the video subscribe if you are new to the channel And yeah, hopefully you guys did enjoy I will catch you in that stream hopefully tomorrow. See you guys then peace